Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com. Today is Monday, May 10th, 2010, and the government is trying to save the day by taking money out of the left pocket and putting it into their right pocket. Let's look at some charts. This is the uh, S&P 500 six-month chart, each one of these candlesticks being one day. Um, it's the best chart to show what I'm trying to point out here, so I'm looking at the uh, S&P uh, 500 chart here, but you could do, do the same analysis from the... Uh, the Dow Jones or the, or the NASDAQ. Uh, let's look here. You'll see that we told you about the uh, potential for a bounce here uh, because of the 50% retracement. You had this big move to the upside, a 50% retracement to the downside. You were closed well below the uh, lower Bollinger Band line, and uh, you could obviously see a reversal here. The catch, of course, is a bounce uh, because of the volatility that you had built into it. Uh, the bounce was potential was there. We told you about that on Friday and with the news that came out this weekend, of course, you're going to see that. Uh, don't expect the EU to go quietly into the night. So, uh, yeah, you, that's what we got here today, but let's draw your attention to the realities here from a technical perspective. You see this candlestick on Friday? That is not a proper uh, uh, support candlestick. That is uh, more like a, more like this candlestick here or, or this one here, more of a continuation signal. The only thing is it had that volatility built into it because of the uh, previous week, so it had this big move to the upside. But here's some problems with it. Number one, this is not a hammer formation. This is a hammer formation, right? Whoops. Clear that. Try that again, Carl. All right. This right here, that's a hammer. That's what you want to see. That shows support. That's a, a right place to be doing your buying and all that stuff. And then, you, of course, you had this uh, three-day candlestick combination, which is a reversal signal as well. You don't have that here. Uh, instead, you've got a gap up. Gaps get filled, so you'll see prices down here again. And this big move to the upside happened basically instantaneously, so there was no buying behind it. It was pre-market. Uh, you know, prices just basically uh, vaulted higher, and you didn't really have an opportunity to do anything with it. It's not a quality uh, strong buy move here. Uh, you could still continue to see more upside, though, because... The news comes out, a lot of people think, oh, problems are solved. It's not solved at all. Um, and again, at PerfectStockAlert.com, we have this rule that really makes us almost perfect. And that rule is basically this. Never short or long based on any one indicator or any one reason. If we had been shorting this market simply because of the EU, then yeah, we'd probably be having a bad day right now. But that's exactly not what we were doing. Uh, we said before, stack all the odds in your favor and then make the trade, and that's what we did. We have technical reasons for a major market sell-off. We've shown you those in the past. You can go back and watch previous videos. Uh, we've shown you fundamental reasons in just the U.S. alone, as well as the world markets. And we said you also had the problem with Europe. So even if they could solve this Europe problem with this trillion-dollar backstop that basically the U.S. has decided to go ahead and pony up that capital for, um, even if that were the case, uh, it's not, but even if that were the case, we'd still have plenty of reasons to be shorting this market, and I would maintain my short position 100% fearlessly so. Um, <clears throat> basically, the overall markets are now in the, on the defensive, and the governments of these socialist, whatever, I don't want to get into politics, makes me mad. But anyway, uh, they're, they're trying everything they can to keep it afloat. They did this before in the 1930s as well. It didn't work then. And it didn't work in 2008, and it's not going to work this time. But for the, they've got it, okay? Remember, back in 2008, they stopped shorting altogether. So you could not short fi financials. Well, did financials not go down? Sure, it just took them a little while. But uh, you basically got the same thing. They're trying to shake shorts out of the short positions, and I'm not giving up that easy. So I'm still short, fearlessly so. Now, uh, you could see continu continuation higher the next couple of days. As this uh, news is out there, and at the same time, you could see uh, the it's basically dependent on the bond traders over as far as Europe goes. I'm going to, you know, stop looking at Europe so much as you know, see, we'll watch the rest of the world. You also have uh, economists coming out saying that China is slowing down, their economic recovery is slowing down. Uh, we know that it's slowing down in Europe with the austerity measures, they're going to have to stop spending as much, uh, and that's going to hurt their economy, and they're going to have to raise taxes. On their citizens and that's going to hurt the economy because they're not going to have as much to spend on consumption and, and that of course translates to a weaker economy which we already have in the US as we came in with a 3.2 percent GDP 
and that was with the government uh, you know stimulus and everything else so uh, it's really not good now that takes me to the next step you're thinking to yourself wait a minute didn't you say something about the uh, Moody's company coming out and warning the US about if our recovery wasn't as robust as hoped for what they were gonna have to downgrade the US debt yes I did mention that and uh, they came out and said it a couple months ago and this pullback that we're having here if it continues would actually force Moody's to do that and by the government coming out now and remember the IMF whenever they bail somebody out the US is t uh, funds the, the IMF 20 percent of the funding of the IMF comes from the US so that also hurts our uh, credit standing you know uh, when we just turn around like we did this weekend and we give Europe a, a nice uh, line of credit we've hurt ourselves again but the government has taken themselves say a step further to protect themselves against a the Moody's downgrade go look at the news last week uh, it was on Friday the news came out that uh, the SEC had basically they're putting pressure on Moody's basically saying uh, we'll put you out of business uh, and I I mean, they don't really have any grounds for it. I've read their, I've read their argument uh, for their case, and it's weak at best. Uh, basically, a couple of people in Moody's uh, were not being truthful. Moody's found out about it. They fired the guys. They informed the government of the issue, and all was supposed to be copacetic. But now the government needs to put pressure on Moody's to keep them from downgrading the U.S. debt. And uh, so I believe that that's what that report's all about. You can look it up online. You'll you'll be able to read all about it. But in any event, it's basically just the government realizing that they're pretty close to uh, seeing their their debt downgraded in the U.S. and uh, they're putting pressure on Moody's to try to keep that from happening. To kind of sweep it under the rug, and they want to keep their AAA credit score. But I don't think it's going to happen. So <clears throat> I think ultimately the U.S. Uh, debt will be downgraded, and I believe this sell-off will continue to do so. Uh, though we will have a little bit of upside like I said we had this built big old move to the upside see the chart there big pull down here that was 50 percent retracement now a bounce that was possible and with the news it was inevitable and now we're gonna try to pull back up here I believe you're not gonna see that uh, uh, sustainable though and you'll notice let me see if they got a tool in here that'll do it yeah, maybe this you notice you've got this little upside heat whoops That's, Control Z, maybe? No, it didn't work. Let me see. Let's try it again. All right, you've got this move to the upside here, move lower here, move to the upside here, move lower here, move to the upside, move lower, head and shoulders pattern setting up. This is a topping signal, and uh, this came into play from many uh, indications, not many items, not just the the Europe situation so remember we have many reasons to be short and the only reason to be long today is because of that bailout uh, it's not even you know finished it's not even a, a locked in the bag kind of thing and you look at uh, the fundamentals also that came out that got drowned in the news today um, Fannie Mae is looking for another uh, uh, bailout you know uh, they need more cash because they took losses hey that's not bullish I saw a headline that said uh, last week the higher unemployment rate, remember the unemployment rate has gone from 9.7 to 9.9 percent. .9%. They were saying that why higher unemployment is good for the economy. Give me a break, man. Seriously. Are, are you truly trying to sell that to the U.S. people or to the world? No one's buying this stuff. I mean, uh, your market's rolling over, plain and simple. Uh, we've shown you the technicals. We've shown you uh, the fundamentals. And we're going to continue to see, tell the truth repeatedly, no matter what the, the government tries to sell us. But uh, I'd say short, 100 percent. God bless and enjoy the evening. I'd like to look at the disclaimer right quick. One more item before we uh, look at the disclaimer. See, note the VIX here runs the opposite of the overall markets. The pullback and a good consolidation candlestick. I like that. That's what you want to see. You could see weakness down here as the market continues to press higher, but you will find consolidation back at this point as this is now support. We have a gap to fill to the upside. This bear move is still in play, plain and simple. Okay. Now right, let's look at the disclaimer. The information provided here is our opinion only. You can read. God bless. Keep sharing our videos. Refer your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we will see you all tomorrow.